Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Monday, March 27th, 2023. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Monday, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll see right now a little bit higher here in pre market trading, retesting the FOMC key level from Wednesday's Fed Day. That is the 403375s. Uh, one thing that continues to uh, be very, very present is resistance up here at 4075. We have higher lows coming into play here, and we have this compression here that continues to trade back and forth. Uh, we, we could easily see more chop price action here between 4075 and 40, uh, rather 3950, as this thing continues to build for a breakout up ahead. At some point down the road here, we likely see some sort of expansion from this narrow range, and that could lead to the next key move. We've been seeing higher lows here overall. We've had major resistance across the highs of 4,200. And again, this range has continued to keep prices in check for many, many, many months. So we could continue to see further range-bound action here heading into the end of the quarter, followed by what could be a pretty significant move to begin the new quarter and then the, the Q2 of the year, as this quarter has been much, much smaller in terms of range compared to any quarters going back over the last year plus. So further range-bound action right now. Keep an eye on the FOMC key level, 4033.75. Any failure through that level and you, you start to come back below the previous session's high and close, which could open up a return back toward the previous week's midpoint. If we take a look here at the NQ, You'll notice right now the NQ here testing the uh, FOMC key level as well from Wednesday's trade. A nice compression all built up around that level. That's the 12 925s. This compression here is built out over the last week of trading. And again, um, this market continues to honor resistance right in this area. Uh, the next area of resistance up above takes you to about 13.6. We could easily see a continuation into this point here. But overall, we still remain in this larger range. We can continue to build out a bit more. From a short-term perspective here today, keep an eye on the previous week's high and close. Any failure there, or a previous week's close right away, but any re failure there, or you're opening up the previous week's midpoint, 12,800, and below there, you start to open up the low. So uh, a bit of range-bound action right near the center of last week's range at the moment. Could see further range-bound action until we're ready to move away from this level. If we take a look here at crude oil. Uh, crude oil right now showing a bit of strength here pre-market, up 2% here. The level trying to be overcome here is the previous low here. That's the previous year's low around the 70 level. That's the level that was the battle level here last week. We're still kind of testing that zone. Again, if price can find acceptance above 70 especially push through 72 you're back up within the previous trading range here any failure here and you're you're marking your way back down so again keep an eye on 70 above 72 here starts to open up the upper end of the prior range taking a look here at gold futures gold right now seeing quite a bit of weakness here uh, again it was going to be interesting to see how price responded to a retest of the recent high uh, price is above 1960. There hasn't been a whole lot of acceptance here over the last four years above that level. Uh, through 1960, and you start to open up prices as high as 2075, the previous year's highs there. So again, there is the potential here to make a move and a continuation toward that zone. As of right now, seeing a bit of a rejection off these highs and a little bit of a steady pullback. Uh, quite a bit of selling pressure here over the last two sessions. And that could open up further weakness here that takes us back toward uh, the 1900 level and perhaps even 1830. So again, still stuck here between 1830 and the recent high of 2000. Taking a look lastly here at the YM. You'll notice right now the YM is higher by about two-thirds of 1%. Continues to remain in a downward trend. This is a downward channel at the moment. You can see this thing has gotten really... Uh, Harry here over the last few weeks, high range days, back and forth high range days, still a downward directional conviction here. And early strength this week is going to be very interesting. Across the board, ES, NQ, YM, if this early strength is met with weakness here and you start to turn back down, 
we could be looking at another rotation back down within this range and possibly even a downside break and continuation. Key level here to watch is going to remain that 33k level, 33,000 above that level and you start to open up a return back toward 34.5. So keep an eye on 33k as we move throughout the week. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this develops the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.